Hello, I'm Heather King and I am the chair of the former Aberdeen branch of the Embroiders Guild. After reorganisation of the Embroiders Guild in early 2021, we became an independent stitch group affiliated to the Embroiders Guild, now known as Aberdeen Stitch and Textile Group. Since 1961, members of the Embroiders Guild from across the northeast of Scotland have met in Aberdeen to share their interest and passion in all forms of embroidery and textile art. The group has members of all abilities, from those new to stitching through to very experienced ones who are keen to pass on their knowledge and skills to others. We meet from September to May, usually on the first Saturday of the month. There is a workshop in the morning, followed by a talk in the afternoon. Four times each year, we hold a one or two day school with a well-known tutor from across the UK. Twice a year, we hold finishing schools, which is an opportunity to spend a day stitching, sharing ideas and getting any help with an ongoing project. During the pandemic, we have been meeting on Zoom for talks and workshops, but hope to return to meeting in person very soon. We are a very friendly group of stitchers who would welcome anyone interested in learning a new hobby or developing their skills in embroidery or textile art. To celebrate this 60 year milestone, we are exhibiting a wide range of work by current members at Aberdeen Art Gallery in the Diamond Celebration, 60 years of the Embroiders Guild in Aberdeen. Embroidery can be defined as the embellishment of a surface. Stitchers often begin by decorating the surface fabric with paint, print or dye before adding stitches and other embellishments. Sometimes a stitcher may create the base fabric by making paper, silk paper or felt before stitching. Some examples of these can be seen in the display cases. Throughout the exhibition, there are examples of both traditional embroidery techniques as well as contemporary art. Members were asked to stitch diamonds using any technique to create the bunting around the display cases. There are 60 diamonds to represent each year since the group began. Some of the largest exhibits are examples of applique, patchwork and quilting. This quilt, measuring 160 centimetres square, includes several different techniques. Pieces cut from printed fabric are applied to the background with hand stitching. This technique, known as applique perse, dates back to the 17th century. A patchwork border is constructed using the English paper piecing method. Once the quilt top was completed, the quilt layers were stitched together on a long arm quilting machine. This close up shows both the hand and machine stitching on the quilt. Another large quilt, ceremonial, is quite different. Rather than using pre-printed fabrics, the silk fabrics in this quilt were hand dyed with natural dyes. Wood, indigo, logwood and cochineal to create the shaded effect in the arcs of the traditional wedding ring design. The quilt was machine pieced and hand quilted. This image shows a contrast between a large crocheted wall hanging of dawn side with hand embroidery embellishments and the fine detailed stitching of the dragonfly and flower. This is a close-up of one of three small stump work embroideries which demonstrate several raised embroidery techniques such as wired leaves, needle weaving giving a lacy effect and the use of beads. Another use of beads is seen in this exquisite little box and lid worked entirely in beads which is inspired by The Wave by Japanese artist Hokusai. 
In the exhibition, there is also a canvas work picture based on Hokusai's The Wave. Rosemary Topping shows traditional gold work used in a contemporary way to create this landscape as a treasured view from the stitcher's former home in Stockton-on-Tees. Vintage embroidered fabrics, lace retrieved from garments and haberdashery from old sewing boxes can all be recycled into pieces of textile art as seen here. Let us not forget the stitchers of the future. This tree was a group project worked by the young embroiderers. The background was coloured with acrylic paints, fabrics were wrapped to create the branches and roots, individual leaves were decorated and stitched to the branches. There are small insects hidden amongst the leaves. Can you see the butterfly in this image? Now this is just a short introduction to the exhibition, but there is so much more to see and enjoy. Look out for the mussels growing on a rope, the baby swallows emerging from their nest under the eaves, and these no-calorie Tunnock's tea cakes. <laughs>